There are four tricks for making cut flowers bloom much longer, but unfortunately they are completely secret. Find out how they work and why you should definitely try them in this short video. Before we get to the real insider tips, I'll show you this one that probably everyone knows. Did you know that you should always cut your cut flowers at an angle, preferably at a 45 degree angle as this allows them to absorb enough water and to make them last longer, you can use hairspray. However, you should only use this once the flower has already opened. Simply take some hairspray and spray it all over the flowers. This will seal them and make them look much more beautiful for longer. Hairspray is also suitable if you want to dry your entire flower. In this case, you should also spray the entire stem with hairspray and lay it out to dry. And even if it sounds unbelievable, an aspirin tablet can also help if you want your cut flowers to last longer. You should be a little more careful here. Grab half an aspirin tablet or a whole one if you have a little more experience and place it in the flower water. Wait a while because it will start to dissolve in there. This is because the acetyl salicylic acid contained in the aspirin tablet causes the flowers to wilt much more slowly. They are also better protected against viruses and bacteria and you can enjoy their beauty for longer. If you don't have an aspirin tablet in the house, you can also use sugar. Sugar provides energy and that also applies to your flowers. This will keep them for up to three days longer. However, make sure that you don't add too much sugar to your flower water. Ideally, it should be a sugar cube. If you don't have a sugar cube, use a teaspoon. This will dissolve in the water. You won't see it anymore, but you'll be able to enjoy your flowers for longer. And the other advantage is that the sugar is relatively cheap. Another thing that can be helpful is vodka. This is because the alcohol has an antibacterial effect and can therefore prevent the flowers from wilting quickly. Of course, the right dose is also important here, otherwise it can quickly turn into the opposite. Depending on how much water is in your vase, it should be 1 to a maximum of 2 centiliters of vodka. That's all you need for this effect. Another advantage is that vodka is odorless. This means that if the flowers or the flower water start to smell at some point, you can use it to prevent this. And if you still want to know the 8 surprising places where you should never use paper towels, then click on the video you see on the screen now, because that's where I'll show you.